Yo, 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 what's good, world? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Gio, man. I'm back with another one, man. This one right here, man, is kind of crazy, man, because uh, it's going back with your boy, Charleston White, and your boy, Woody, man. Your boy, Woody, he's steadily taunting your boy back, man, because he's tired of it. He's fed up, you know. Uh, Charleston White been giving him what he wanted to give him. And uh, you already know he's with the boys, man. So he's going to do what he always do and tell you what he's going to do and get you locked up. That's what he, I mean, that's the ultimatum right there. I'm going to go ahead and get you locked up. That's his whole ultimate goal and what he going to say at the end of the story. I mean, you can go hard and go hard, but that's what, you know, that's how he going to tell you. And he just done got arrested, man. He got some charges. And I'm not going to tell y'all if y'all haven't already seen it yet. I'm not going to spoil it. I need y'all to check it out. Run it up. Run it up. This is going to be crazy right here. Your boy Charleston White, man. He had, man, he got some stuff going on. And uh, you got to see how he looked, man. And and uh, this one right here, this is something like, I didn't know he had hair and all that stuff back then and whatnot. But, yeah funny looking dude man he's he's funny and he's funny looking and he's hey he's he's the feds man that's that's what you just call him man it's, you know but that's what it is man him and woody man they've been going back and forth man it's just been something crazy you know good thing that they beef ain't like other beefs you know what i'm saying where it's getting really violent and things like that but what do you know how to handle him he already know what's going on with charleston white just like anybody else would i mean come on man you know how this dude get down man he ain't playing no games man when it come down to his home getting harmed he he, he yeah he calling the boys so this one right here i just want y'all to check this out let me know what y'all think man I, like i said i'm not spoiling none of it y'all gotta see this this is gonna be crazy man like I know Woody laughing at this right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Your boy is laughing at this right now, man. Um, but, you know, I wish they could have just resolved that and just hit it hard because that was a crazy, like, you know, match right there with these two dudes. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Woody is the, the, the best person because allegedly we've heard things that's going on with him and Young Thug. So, but, you know, just them two getting up, like, you know what I mean? That's that's crazy. I mean, I'm keeping neutral. I'm not, I mean, I'm going to give y'all, y'all get more of my opinion when we're going live. You know, y'all get more of my opinion when we're going live. I mean, that's the only thing that I can say. But uh, even then, I, I mean, I'm not with none of these people, so I'm not. I'm not just about to say, "Oh yeah, this person wrong, that person wrong." You know, even if it's a right and wrong, like I'm still gonna stay neutral. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all the information. I'm. A, I want y'all opinions. We'll chime in on it and we'll talk about it. But it's like other than that, I mean, we're not with none of these people, so we can't just say a hundred percent. Like, I mean, even if you know it's a hundred percent, still, I'm, I'm. I'm not. I'm not getting in that. Like that's that's not at, at that point. It's not my business. So, you know, but, uh, yeah, man, let's drop in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this, man, this whole thing, man. Let's run that up and uh, talk about this, man. And while y'all let it hit that subscribe button, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I appreciate all the love support. Y'all already know, man, what it is, you know, uh, we all family. We're going to run it up, you know, and, uh, it's all love, you know, till then. Catch me on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace and love. Come on, man. Police said, nigga, man. Freaked up, man. <laughs> the fuck, nigga? Freaked up. Nigga. Yo, she got some of that shit, man. We on the fuck you talking about, man. How the young niggas got here? Sign crew, nigga. Fuck is you saying? Come on. Did you see that video where he's in, um, he's sitting on a four wheeler counting like 100,000 in his hood? Um, when we seen that, we posted that on Say Cheese and a lot of people was like, you could see that whatever he was doing with YSL, he wasn't getting money for that. Like, this is all new to him. This whole, all this is new to him. And he doesn't know how to deal with all these people coming at him because he never really had real money before. Yeah, that's why I got to get away from him. Uh, he go crash out. He don't know how to, and he's, he's too easy to be manipulated. 
He can't thank for himself. He don't know how to get by himself and thank for himself. That's the avenue I was trying to open up for him. I'm telling him, homie, listen, the white people want me to talk to you. Let me bring you down here. This was the conversation we had. Let me bring you down to my city, homie. While you down here, I'm gonna put some money in your pocket. Make you about 10, 20, 30,000 while you're here. But the white people wanna talk to me and you because, homie, you're killing, you killing the game. You oversaturating yourself with the 20 versus one. Nothing is gonna surpass those 20 versus two that we did. Homie, they got a bag for both of us. And they are asking me to talk to you because they've already tried to talk to you. But it's his team. They keep booking him for because they still off in the ghetto. They don't have a hundred thousand account. So they keep booking him for the percentage game. I get it. I get it. But Woody, let me talk to you man to man, fam. These people got a way bigger bag for you and me. We go move forward with or without you, Woody. We're going to move forward with or without you, Woody. But nigga, I like you. I like our chemistry. Uh, I know a little bit of your backstory. I think if we can get your backstory out, nigga, I think you got a hell of a story. Uh, but nigga, you go kill yourself, nigga, this shit, nigga. You, all you gonna be known is for snitching in 20 versus one. Hold on, you gotta, you gotta call Sean. I just got pulled over by the police. Okay, I got on the other line. All right, Mr. White, you mind putting that down for now? So here's the deal, man. Since you got that little bit of weed on you, I gotta search your car and your person, okay? Is there anything else illegal inside the car? Oh, uh, I got more. I got a little 25 on. Okay, where's it on you? Okay, we'll just leave it. Okay, we'll just leave it there for now. All right. Anything on your person? No sir. All right, go ahead and drop the phone. Okay. Oh, uh, baby, I gotta drop the phone. Uh, man, let me can I get my daughter situated while y'all do? Not yet, man. Okay, where's man. your daughter at? Oh, uh, she's she's at the school. At the, All right, uh, yeah, not right now. Okay. Uh, Let's deal with you. Okay. Uh, Good. Drop your stuff. Uh, can I put this in the car? We'll just leave it up All here. Right. Okay. You want to hop out for me? I got a knife in my pocket. Right? Okay. I'm just going to detain you for now. Yes, All right. You're not under arrest or anything else. Just his pocket knife? Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else on you, buddy? Okay. Uh, no, sir. That's it. 35. Can you you said a can of mace? Yes, sir. Where's that mace at? Uh, right, right. I'm just going to put it in the back so I don't lose any of your stuff, okay? Yes, sir. That's not illegal, is it? No. It's not. Uh, 10 4, thanks. Yeah, I want to make sure everything's out of your pockets, hey, man, I, and then I, we'll go I, from I, there, okay? I understand you guys are out there. Why are you so prepared, man? Oh, uh, man, uh, I got a lot of threats, man. Uh, I, went, I went viral. Uh, I walked into the police department, man. After, I do a lot of community work, uh, uh -huh. and I went to the police department, man. Uh, a lot of killings going on in the city. Spoke out against the Crips and the Bloods. Uh -huh. uh, so my, somebody did a viral video of me saying uh, that I snitched on the Crips and the Bloods and I went all across the country. So I've been getting a lot of, lot of death threats, man, uh, okay. all my where, life. Where are you from? I'm from Fort Worth. Okay. And my daughter goes to school right, right up here at the school up here, man. Okay. Uh, so I'm just coming to pick her up. Just drop my son off at work. Uh, I run a community center. Uh, I've done some work called Hype About Hype Deep Outreach. Uh, so I do a lot of work in the community, man, stand against a lot of damn violence. So I get a lot of threats to come my life. So That's I got, good, man. I've got over 100 threats, man, over the last. Uh, I just had to go to the police department and make some threats. So uh, uh, against the Harvey Street Crips, the Fort Trade Gangster Crips, uh, the Pyro Blood. So. Uh, You're out here trying to do good, and they're, they're threatening you. Oh, uh, man, my biggest, uh, and then I embrace the police department, so I do a lot of community work on, you know, advocating for, uh, Mr. White, can you face the car for me? Uh, 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 advocating for, you know, better relationship with us with the police department, man, and uh -huh. so I, 
my message is my greatest threat when I walk out of this door is the police officer that's looking to do me any harm. It's not a clan member. It's another black guy that looks like me. So I speak out against the black on black violence. You know, my, my partner. Oh, right. not a problem, yeah, man. just grab a seat right uh, there, man, man, if you so, want. Uh, yeah, man. So of course I get called a coon. I get called a sellout. Uh -huh. uh, so if you let me show you on my phone, man, I can show you. I got, I got, man, I went. It's over 500,000 500, views, man. Of me saying I'm tired of the gang violence. They're giving them kids drugs, they're giving kids guns, uh, so man, my life's in danger. Yeah, what, what's this on? Uh, 35 inch, yes. Uh, got out in 98, man, my record was sealed. Uh, don't have any felony convictions. Uh, but when I came back to my community, uh, the African American culture is negative, right? Everything that we get is negative. Uh, the rap music, Master P had just dropped Ghetto Dope, taught you how to cook crack, step one to step ten. So here it is, I'm locked up from 14 to 21. Uh, man, when I get home, I'm mentally, I'm still 14. Even though I'm 21, I don't know how to talk to girls. Uh, so I spent most of my 20s uh, trying to find an identity, hanging out with this guy, hanging out with this guy, hanging out with this next dude, just trying to find an identity. Uh, uh, and through fatherhood uh, is where I found my identity. Uh, fatherhood is where I found my identity. So how many uh, kids you got? I got two. I got a, uh, I got a, I got a, 16 year old son and 12 year old daughter. Okay. Uh, their mom just went to jail. They live out here in Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, their mom just went to jail, man. Uh, I think she was on the run for a couple of years for a probation violation. So uh, I got custody of the kids, uh, married. Uh, so, finish my story, right? Mm -hmm. uh, went to pre law school, went to Texas Western pre law school, man. Uh, and had a, just had a vision to work with children. Uh, many of my buddies that I went to school with, man, uh, Got locked up at 13, 14, 15, uh, 13, 14, 15, uh, and ended up doing 19, 20 years. So I started a youth organization that's called Hyper by Hyper Values. Uh, we started going back into the juvenile systems, going into the schools, uh, working with the probation departments. Uh, there was an incident that happened in Fort Worth uh, where uh, a woman by the name of Jackie Craig, uh, son, she was arrested for calling the police to grab the son by the neck. Uh -huh. uh, that is where I learned to embrace the police department. Uh, rather than aligning uh, with the African American community with the hate, we hate police, we hate police. I thought it was a great opportunity, man, for us to bridge the gap. So uh, I took a chance, man. I started uh, meeting with, uh, at the time, was the uh, president of the Police Officer Association, a guy by the Rick Van Houten. Uh, I met with him. Uh, chief Joel Fisher was the chief at the time. I started developing a relationship with Deputy Chief House. Uh, chief Krause, who's, who's now the chief at the time, uh, now, uh, I literally started developing genuine relationships with them. So I embraced uh, when they brought the procedural justice to the city. Mm -hmm. So I sat one time in a meeting and I heard our department, uh, I, one second, Mr. White. Yes, sir, I, I heard our department explain what procedural justice was to the African. And I heard all the pastors, man, they were rejecting that shit. So I'm saying, man, they're supposed to be Christ like men. It didn't sit right. So, man, I stood up and I. My mother passed was in there, and I said, say, man, all of y'all complaining, you know, complaining, but excuse my language. I said, man, we don't see none of y'all niggas in our neighborhood. Oh, y'all don't speak out against the gang violence, the black, yeah, we don't see none of that. But all of our mothers, so I was able, I was shunned by my community. But my city leaders embrace me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a young emerging leader. I'm radical at times. Uh, uh, I curse. Uh, I use the N words mm -hmm. of my people. Uh, but I wake up every day to feed children, uh, to right or wrong that I've done. Mm -hmm. uh, I was with three guys who, man, my money just flew out. Uh, Here, that was it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. The, the other one, that, that, that other money. Yeah, uh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, you see the other money, it says for the most of the yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut the door so. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, man, so I started this youth organization. So, here it is. I'm stuck in the middle between the department and the community. Uh -huh. uh, the community turned against me. Uh, so, man, uh, that's why I got that gun on me, man. So, like, so, if you give me an opportunity, I can send you on Facebook. 
call the police department. I just want the gang in and say, hey man, the trips are threatening me, the gloves are threatening me. Uh, you look at my videos, man, every day I'm up in the morning promoting fatherhood, saying, man, you don't spend, you niggas don't spend time with your father, you niggas is destroying our neighborhood. The Crips and the Bloods are in it. It ain't no gun whole cop. How can we say anything about anybody when we self-inflict? These wounds are weak. So, man, I got a strong message. And so, man, my life is in danger. Uh, Malcolm died. Malcolm X. Black people killed him. As long as he was talking about white people, white people. As soon as Malcolm... Hey, doing, sir? What's going on, man? Uh, no, man. I'm Officer Becerra there in police department. Yes, the reason sir. you've been stopped, sir, was uh, rain your tags and shows no insurance. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Do you got insurance and a driver's license, please? Oh, man. I just rushed out of the house. Man, uh, picking my daughter up from the school down here, man. I, don't, I think I left everything at the house, man. Uh, Even a driver's license? Man, I, I, I just got this, man. Tying my shoes up, dropping one kid off the of school. Hold on, man. Well, I don't need this one. I just need a driver's license up oh, after this. Yeah. I'll hand this back to you, sir. Do you have an ID or anything yeah, with you? That, that, uh, you want my license number? It's Charleston, first name? Yeah, Charleston Jamal. See, I rushed out the house, dropping CJ off, and left, left, left my wallet. Yeah, goddamn. And I had my effect, man, to see. I need a new ID on this. What's it? Hey, wait, what's it expired? It doesn't have anything on the computer at all. So this is a valid policy, right? Uh, Old American? It should be, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should be. All right, man. I'll give them a call. If they say it's good, then then I'm good, okay? If they say it's not good, then it's going to be a ticket. All right? That's how it is, man. We don't really play here in Irving with no insurance. It's an automatic ticket, all right? I understand. Well, you see what's on the back of my phone, back of my window, so I do a lot of things. I hear you, so, man. So, yeah, so yeah. I understand. So, yeah, if it's not showing, it ain't showing. Baby, okay. did you pay it? Baby. Well, she changed credit cards, so don't run it. So are you saying it's not valid? It's not valid. She just says she changed credit cards. Okay. So All right, man. Um, it, do you have any outstanding warrants? I'm assuming not, no, right? No, you ever no. been arrested for anything? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, shoots, uh, man, uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. When was that? Uh, man, that was, uh, got into it with some gang members, man. A community activist came down into the neighborhood after okay. making some threats. Uh, pointed a gun at a man, so, uh, you know, getting me the property, they went back and called the police on me, so I haven't been indicted yet, so. Okay, well, all right, man, hopefully it works out for you, okay, dude? Yes, sir. Uh, what about drug use? No, nah, no drug No use. drug use? No, Not even marijuana? Yeah, I, I smoke marijuana. Is it, you ever smoke in the car? Uh, last night. Last night? Yeah, last night. You know if there's anything in there right now? So, don't dig, dude, I'm just asking. That little guy? Yeah, that's, that's it? That's it, man. That's all you have. All, got, man. all right, man. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, it, let me check on a few things, and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Yes, that's a good uh, driver's license number, right? Yes, and it's gonna come back to that address. Yes, all right, bud. Give me one sec. I'll all be right. right back with you. Oh, uh, hold on. You got you got a call, Sean. I just got pulled over by the police. Okay, I got on the other line. All right, Mr. White, you mind putting that down for now? So here's the deal, man. Since you got that little bit of weed on you, I got to search the car and your person, okay? Is there anything else illegal inside the car? Oh, I got more. I got a little 25 on you. Okay, where's it on you? Okay, we'll just leave it there for now, all right? Anything on your person? No, sir. All right, go ahead and drop the phone. Okay. Oh, baby, I got to drop the phone. Uh, man, let me, can I get my daughter situated while y'all do Not something? yet, man. Okay. Where's your daughter at? Oh, uh, she, she's at the school. At the, All right, uh, yeah, not right now, okay? Uh, Let's yeah. deal with you. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and drop your stuff. Oh, uh, can I put this in the... We'll just leave it up All here, right. okay? Want to hop out for me? Yes,
I got a knife in my pocket. Right okay. Now. I'm just going to detain you for now. Yes, All right. You're not under arrest or anything else. Just his pocket knife? Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else on you? Okay. Oh, uh, no, sir. That's it. 35. Can you you said a can of mace? Yes, sir. Where's that mace at? Oh, right pocket right now. Alright, buddy, I'm just gonna put it in the bag so I don't lose any of your stuff, okay? Yes, sir, that's not a limit, is it? No, it's not. Uh, Ten four things. I want to make sure everything's out of your pockets, man, and then we'll go from there, okay? I understand you guys, y'all, so what's up? Why are you so prepared, man? Oh, man, uh, I got a lot of threats, man. Uh, I, went, I went viral. Uh, I walked into the police department, man. After I do a lot of community work, uh, uh -huh. and I went to the police department, man. Uh, a lot of killings going on in the city. Spoke out against the Crips and the Bloods. Uh -huh. uh, so my, somebody did a viral video of me saying uh, that I snitched on the Crips and the Bloods and just went all across the country. So I've been getting a lot of... A lot of death threats, man, uh, okay. on my where, life. Where are you from? I'm from Fort Worth. Okay. And my daughter goes to school right, right up here at the school up here, man. Okay. Uh, so I'm just coming to pick her up, just drop my son off at work. Uh, I run a community center uh, out there in Fort Worth called Hype About Hype People Outreach. Uh, hmm. So I do a lot of work in the community, man, stand against a lot of damn violence. So I get a lot of threats upon my life. So That's I got, good, man. I've got over 100 threats, man, over the last. I uh, just had to go to the police department and make some threats. So, uh, uh, against the Harvard Street Crips, the Fort Trade Gangster Crips, uh, and the Pyro Blood. So, uh, so you're out here trying to do good and they're, they're threatening you. Uh, man, my biggest, uh, and then I embrace the police department. So, I do a lot of community work on, you know, advocating for. Uh, Mr. White, can you face the car for you? Uh, 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 advocating for, you know, better relations with us with the police department, man. Uh -huh. so I, my message is my greatest threat when I walk out of this door is the police officer that's looking to do me in the home. It's not a clan room. It's another black guy that looks like me. So I speak out against the black on black violence. Can you join my, my partner? Oh, back no problem, yeah, man. just grab a seat right uh, there, man, if you so, want. Uh, yeah, man, so of course I get called a coon. I get called a sellout. Uh -huh. uh, so if you let me show you on the phone, man, I can show you. I got, I got, man, I went, it's over 500,000 500, views, man, of me saying I'm tired of the gang violence. They're giving them kids drugs, they're giving kids guns, uh, so man, my life's in danger. What, what's this on? 35 inches, yes. Can you run the same individual all the way, see if he has a prior felony conviction or a gun in the car? Charleston White arrested for assault and animal cruelty charges in Texas. Charleston White, known for threatening rappers, has been arrested for serious charges this October. He allegedly he faces allegations of assault with a deadly weapon and animal cruelty involving non-livestock animals. The cruelty charge includes killing, poisoning, or causing serious injury to an animal without consent. Currently, White is in custody at the Law Nevins Corrections Center in Fort Worth, Texas. Details about his bond amounts have not been disclosed at this time. Stay updated on the latest news by subscribing to our channel. For the Culture Channel, just for the record, all those meet federal requirements under TAC level. TAC level.
Yeah, Y'all got a, a bag or anything? I have all this other stuff that I just want to on my table. So, yeah, so let me hand these over. That's right. You got all the other stuff too, right? Yeah, just no, like, like, no, probably you know where you found everything else. Yeah. yeah. But you found that on his person. It was in the left front pocket. Left front pocket. You're under arrest for DWI. I'm going to walk you to the back of the car and possession of marijuana. Uh, let's walk back here. What I'm in a risk for? Driving while intoxicated and possession of marijuana. Oh man, I know that. I saw that from the get go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. From I'll take uh, care of you. The, the the biggest problem with us is most folks fuck up. And they blame you guys. You just doing your job. That's it. My personal. First trip home. Huh? First trip home. Yep. You take care of the dope. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna book it in, probably. I'll get it from him in a second. Okay, I don't know what else they found. Well, then if he found a bunch of stuff, I'll let him book it all in. You wanna pull, I don't know, you wanna pull around for me? Nah, you just watch him for a second. Okay, you can do that. Let me, let me ask him. Yeah. Um, what all what all did he have in possession? So he had a shitload of uh, THC, like a like oil, the wax. Yeah, wax. He has his own brand. THC wax. Very impressive. And uh, then, uh, he also had a handgun. Where was the handgun? It was in a backpack with all the THC. Are you, are you able to book all that in? Is that cool? I'm gonna book all that in. And what about the weed? Did she hand you the weed you had in his pocket? That's in another bag. I'll put all that in the report then, and I'm gonna go get a blood draw. Okay. I'll help him with this whole half, so we'll just cut this side of the investigation. Anything else that you saw talking to him? Um, no. I mean, obviously, the slurred speech. Um, definitely smell the marijuana. I smell any alcohol, but I wasn't close enough to actually talking to him. So I did all the investigation with searching the vehicle. When he did get out, he did stumble a little bit. And then one officer, I think it was the lieutenant, actually caught him. So um, I don't know what the lieutenant's name was, but you might want, to put him, yeah, might want to put him in the report because they're the ones that found him. Okay, somebody else found him. What I mean, well, we, we got called out here for him. But you so, were the one that was out here, right? Well, I came out here, I think Belder beat, 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 beat us out here on and stuff like that, but Daisy and I rolled up about the same time. Oh, you saw he's the obviously, same time. But he's obviously, he, he, he wasn't responsible inside the car. Did y'all like, at the window? We didn't knock on the window or anything like that because we didn't want to yeah. drive him off and pull the car out here. As soon as my bumper hit his vehicle, I guess the yeah, small nudge kind of like woke him up. And then that's when I observed he actually woke up. Officers were giving him commands. He kind of seemed a little, like he didn't know what was going on. And he, Said a couple things, but it didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Kind of so, slow response. Very slow that. response, yeah. Uh, I'll take care of him here. Um, did you, uh, the wax or the THC, uh, can you let me know how much that weighs when you get a chance? It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. It might take a little while. Okay, let me know. Yep. All right. Shoot me his name, date of birth, and report number, and I'll call him like a short narrative on that. Yeah, I got to make sure I got your phone number. That is deal? Yeah. So, What's your phone? I don't have to say it on there. Might be in there, I don't know. Just call it. Yeah, let me, I'll text you a picture of it here in just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you can put it in the I'll call it in. Okay. Tell what you did. All right, thanks, man. How was it originally called in? Was it somebody? 
we, we can, it was hard here because we were in the plaza. They said a vehicle, possibly somebody passed out, so we didn't know who it was or anything else. You know, but the guy here was what we found. Okay. So it was just reported over the radio, somebody was saying it? Yeah, because they had commands one to call this for. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe saw it in the video or something. No, I can still hear you. Man, open this door so I can hear you. I feel much better if you open this door. Can I, you I, can, I can't Rain open. For the what, I do you, for what do you want? What do you want to say? But if you can open this window, so I can convey to you what I was trying to convey to her. What do you mean to tell her? I'll tell her. I can't let you open the window. I know you're not. I'm one of those guys who really supports law I believe that. What I saw is that the chief drugs on the road. Oh, that don't bother me, huh? I've been a police officer for a long time, man. Well, right now, about 15 years. And, I, and if you want to know, I've always been pretty skinny. Say it again. I've always been a really skinny guy, actually. I'm talking to you. I'm not going to spit on you. I don't think you will. I'm a nigga that's going to jail. That's important. You'll be all right. You'll bond out in a little bit. But what I want to know is, can you hear me or can I hear you? I can hear everything you're saying. Because in the process of us going to jail, we're going to develop a bomb or bomb again. That's fine with me. Station for the emergency message is number 14, there is 2221 for public plaza. 222, 17. Where are you from? Are you from Arlington? I'm the emergency message is number 2221 for public plaza. Wow. Me? I'm from here. I'm from here. From, I'm from Fort Worth. There's no difference between me and you. My mother taught me what life. Your mother and father taught you what life. You and I both. Yeah, I, 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 I was very fond of Woody. And we got a great, great chemistry online. Yeah. But offline, we ain't the kind of n that can run parallel in life together. It's, it wasn't a business beef, right? Nah, hell nah, it ain't no business beef. Yeah. It ain't it ain't no beef. Uh, it's just, n I can't f with a n like you. It's people who work with each other that don't like each other, can't stand each other. But boy, they talk to each other when they see each other at work. Just a little time I done been with Woody, homie, uh, in, in the bookings I done made. I done, I done made off $100,000 just me, off me and him being on screen together. It's only so much you can do together if y'all ain't on the same page before you diminish the value of what y'all do together. So he and I done something together that, that caught the attention of some networks, mm -hmm. uh, Paramount. They reached out to, to one of the platforms who, 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 who we've been dealing with and said, hey, we got yeah. some good money to bag for some butt. This one guy is kind of running his value into the ground. Yeah. So the network saying, hey, you guys got great chemistry. Uh, I say, cool. For whatever reason, I don't know if they can communicate with him and his team properly cool. I said, man, let me talk to him. Uh, so when I hit him up, so he he sounds he seems sound and intelligent. Yeah, man, let's make it happen. Yeah. Uh, and, and when it was time to make it happen, it uh, went went left. Yeah. At, at that point, uh, man, ain't, ain't ain't no more for us to. Yeah, Woody, dumb and retarded. Yeah, gang, he the nigga I been talking about online. Gangster, killer, snitch, nigga. The shot up the neighborhood now. When it's time to go to jail, he tell on everybody to get out of jail. <laughs> you ain't right, bro. You ain't get that hatred out your heart. You a jealous little man. Grow up. Go put some bigger shoes on or something, bro.
For real, for real, bro. Uh, one thing I know about them kind of niggas, they don't want to go to jail. So they don't want to kill no more. So how, but who they gonna tell on to get out now? Man, them niggas don't want to kill no more, nigga. They don't want to go to jail no more. It's crazy how you acting, boy. I didn't think that was really you, bro. I had so much respect for you until I just watch and learn for myself that this was you mad because I didn't come do an interview, bro. You thought I was stupid? Too much, so we ain't got no debit card. Man, you can run around all okay? I got no debit card. Man, come on, man. I've been told let people think and say what they want to say. Don't never feed no real information, boy. And you went for it. Now, who the real fool? You. Oh, they got this platform. They want us on TV. You want to get on real bad. Oh, who the, oh, who the, come on, who the, they ain't going to pay her. If they ain't paying, they ain't doing it. What I look like going on these folk platforms, doing some stuff for free, I don't care how much, how much clout they got. Show me a man, Instagram page, he got 11 million followers, okay? He going to get paid for me doing, sitting on, doing an interview with him. He going to get paid. I want to get paid. Charles White, I pray to God, come touch your heart and get that hatred out your heart. How y'all going to let this nigga snitch on thug and y'all hollering free thug, thug a real nigga? YFN Lucci kept the cub cold. Nigga, ain't nobody saluting YFN Lucci. Everybody want the shame gunner, my nigga. The whole Atlanta. The whole Atlanta tried to shame gunner, my nigga. Now, here it is, nigga. God just had fast just set the record straight. But here it is now, nigga. Nigga didn't even want to bump gunner music. Nigga didn't even want to light gunner shit, my nigga. But here it is, the real motherfucking snitch who brought down YSL getting all the love. All the hook and all the rewards, nigga, that YFN Lucy and Thug's supposed to get. I pray, I'm going to pray for you, bro, because you really need it and you playing with the wrong one because you, you be thinking that people you have around you like that when you come to Atlanta, you niggas ain't really like that, bro. And I don't care, bro. Like, seriously, I don't need an army, bro. But I ain't, I ain't trying to go back into that mindset, bro. Like, stop playing, bro. For real, for real, shout it. For real, get your money and, and just, just stay in your YouTube out who you mess with. Look, man, F all them niggas, bro. Straight up. I don't care about none of that. What? Like, you playing, man. I don't, I don't care, bro. Like, nigga, you ain't. Man, come on, bro. Come on, man. Looking for you. You, you sneaking off. Doing some little sneaky stuff with peoples. You know what I mean? Oh, you really you really living like that? I don't think this is internet stuff. Are you really on that type of time? Man, come on, bro. Yeah, I brought you around my child, nigga. You caught me. I pulled right up. You want me to come out there in Texas where people don't hit you across the head with fire? Ain't nobody in the land getting nothing to me, so I can move around like I move around. But you can't even move around like that in your own state, and you want me to, you want me to come out there by myself. Man, come on. You think I'm a fool, bro? I went born yesterday. Just me and Woody alone. I made $100,000 off Woody. I think it's 85000 to be exact. I made 85000 just standing next to Woody. <laughs> You ain't made no 85000 in what? Never. Let them go get a hotel, Woody. I got a spot over here for you. He said, man, I can't leave them. They ain't got no money. I get even more frustrated. You brought six brokers? Oh, man. Plans council, man. Plans Gene Dill, his uh, security guard, came out saying that, well, this was a few months back, but him and Ja Rule were in the room together with robes on. Say what? Him and Ja Rule was in the room together with robes on. Diddy and Ja Rule allegedly. They were f That what Gene said? Man, yeah, that's listen, what the security guard Gene, Gene, Gene snuck and got him some too. He ain't witnessed and saw all that, nigga, and ain't partaked and participated. They ain't gonna keep you around. Mm. They ain't gonna keep a nigga around to see all the secrets, nigga, and you ain't in on the secrets. We need some assurance, nigga. We need some assurance. Nigga, get on in here, Gene. Gene, you see you big Gene coming out too? That's how he know everything. He ain't just a fly on the wall just to be a fly on the wall, nigga. How you get to be a fly on the wall, Gene? How? To get to see all you done seen and you stay quiet all this time. How you get to be a fly on the wall is what I want to know. Same with, like, I had Wack 100 one time. Who keep telling you all the gay secrets, nigga? Mm. How you getting all the gay secrets? Who trusting you and entrusting you with the gay vault? So now, hmm. man, you got to question the nigga to say they done seen. How you get to see that kind of shit, nigga? And they normally keep it discreet. But probably he was playing dumb like he didn't act. Man, he was probably acting like he didn't see. You, you done seen too much to know you ain't seen to play dumb. During the hiring phase, you think these, I mean, these people don't know what to look for in a man to trust 
a straight man around. Mm. I'm playing straight before the world. But in secret, my bodyguard know I'm a fruit loop. <laughs> so I'm supposed to trust this bodyguard. It's so many people who wish bad things on you, man. Do you let that get to you? Uh-uh. No, because I, I wish bad things on people too. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't wish bad things on my cousin. Uh, mm. I, I wish bad things on my neighbor's children. I said, man, I hope that little boy get hit by a car one day. They don't never keep that. They don't never pay attention to it. I be hoping uh, that they kid get hit by a car only for only for my, my dog Sterling to get hit by a car and, and get ran over and got mm. My wife called me the other day crying like something had really happened. She said, baby, Sterling got ran over by a car. I said, oh, baby, for real? And in my mind, I was thinking, good. I don't like that little motherfucker, no way. But she kept crying. I said, man, baby, you really crying? She said, yeah, baby. I said, well, baby, you know, uh, mama and them always say it's two people who don't live long. Uh, mm. Dogs who chase cars and niggas who fight police. She said, he wasn't chasing no car. I said, well, baby, all dogs go to heaven. He'll be all right. Mm. So, yeah, no, nah, nigga, I wish bad things on people. So how am I going to get mad because people wish bad things on me? I'm just like other people.